Well, here we are back in the workshop and today I was supposed to be riding my bike and it's just me and the bike don't want to go out. It's raining and I feel crap. And I've got one of those headaches that makes you feel like you've got a bowling ball moving around in your head. But uh, that's not stopped me getting in the workshop so I'm going to have a crack at the chessboard and uh, making some more jigs so we can get it done and on the machine. <clears throat> a little while ago I made this jig for the CNC machine. It's a uh, it's a vacuum table. What you do is you, you make a spoil board like place your piece on here and it all vacuums down. I've got to get making this jig so we can cut out the chessboard. Right. I know the finished article I want is 500 by 500. This vacuum table. Obviously a spoil board doesn't have to be 500 by 500 and overhang and that's fine because it gives us an opportunity to cut all the way around the piece without interfering with the board. So 470 square. that I'm going to mount onto here and this will be our vacuum our vacuum bed basically and uh, then once this is all cut out and sealed with some foam we'll be able to mount the chessboard here and do all of the operations on the chessboard at the same time but before we do any cutting on this because I'm going to use the CNC to cut these locating holes so they will be perfect before we do any of that when we pull a vacuum through this, some is lost in this chipboard edge, so I'm going to seal this edge with some of this stuff, HVAC tape. Okay, now up on the wall there's a little inverter as you can see and that runs a little teeny little three phase pump down there which provides the vacuum for this bed. So we get the vacuum on the bed, set up the CNC, get the holes cut now. over a little bit so now we can mount that there before we turn on the vacuum and know that it's in exactly the right place it doesn't need to be bolted down hard because the vacuum does that job but we know these line up exactly with these these mountain holes here every single time so that jig will always be in the same place I haven't thought about it. I don't need those mountain holes on this piece because the workpiece is larger than the spoil board. So in this instance, we do not need to bolt it down at all unless we countersink those bolts. And I don't really want to do that. There's no need. So all we've got to do then is create our area. Create our area here with some tape to hold the vacuum. All right, so this is the sort of gasket or sealant or whatever I've decided to use for these jigs. So you simply peel the backing off, stick it there, create the shape that you want to uh, you want to use as a work area, and uh, 
that's about it really. So what I'm gonna do is simply make a square roughly where I want to be machining. Obviously it's all hanging over the outside so it can be pretty much anywhere. What it does have to be is uh, airtight, you know, as airtight as it possibly can, considering the technology we're using. When I put this tape out, I try not to stretch it because that will obviously make it a little thinner at one point. And we don't want that, it will need a consistent thickness along the length of this stuff. There we are. So work surface sorted. The next thing we need obviously to get the, the vacuum through from this uh, plenum to this spoil board is a hole and that's it. So let's get a hole in here and then I'm going to sand the back of this so that we've got as smooth a surface to sit on this gasket tape as possible. Right, next, get some sanding done on this. Right to the sanding station. I'll use this old, uh, this old Bosch Doodah, extracted with the Festool. Right, that's way smoother than it was before. Fire up the motor. You can hear that. And you can hear the motor pulling down as well. Okay, so that's on there. As you can see, I can't lift it. I cannot lift that up. Vacuum is an amazing thing. It really is. So next up, what I want to do is make an attempt to get this centered on this whole machine and at least, you know, fairly linear along this axis so that the grain is straight here on the finished product. Literally flipping hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of power bits. That looks like it. 1.6, what I am. But before I start cutting, I've got to turn on the vacuum pump down there. And once that's on, I really don't want to touch anything. I want to leave it on until the entire lot is finished. So that'll be the next, I don't know, a couple of hours at least, I imagine. You need some of these. Well, there we are. We've got to the point where all the squares are cut out and the lettering is done. I can't turn the vacuum pump off yet, of course, because I've, no, uh, I've not finished. 
all the operations and I don't want it moving. So next, I'm going to cut out the inside portion of these squares and they will be inlaid later with the rosewood and flame maple. I'm also putting a, uh, a line all the way around the outside just like a purfling. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to inlay that with yet. It might be brass, but probably flame maple because that looks cool. Biggest, scariest operation now. Still not turned the uh, vacuum pump off, obviously, but this is scary just because there's so much cutting to do and uh, a lot of force on the board as it gets cut. It's uh, it's being cut with a half, well, half inch bit, spiral bit, and that's got to cut a whole way through and then edge it off. Well, there we go. All the machining is finished on this board. Apart from, uh, I want to, I want to engrave the back with something. I'm not sure yet. So we can finally turn off the pump and see how it looks. Yes. Let's get it over to the table. A little bit of fur from the routing. Otherwise, that's exactly what I wanted. Well, I'm kind of glad that's over because untested uh, drawings on the only workpiece that I've got, no spares, is pretty stressful. So I'm glad that's over and it's all come out really nicely. And um, I'm hoping tomorrow to start cutting the squares and the other inlays uh, and gluing them in before giving it a good old sand and finish. So join me for that if you can. Cheers.